You're welcome to Hope Today, reaching you from the studios of Mercyland International Christian Center here in Johannesburg, South Africa. The message you're about to listen to is a message that will transform your life and will take you from where you are to where the Almighty God wants you to be. The man of God got some books on Amazon. I'll advise you to take advantage of the special that is going on to grab all these books because they will benefit your life. Some of them are Dealing with the Giants of Destruction. Dealing with the Giants of Destruction is a powerful deliverance book. Then there is The Riches of His Grace. The Riches and the Richness of God's Grace. What we need now is the richness of God's grace. And there is healing from heaven. There is still healing that is taking place in heaven today as it is in, on, on the earth. Also there is healing in His blood. There is healing in the powerful blood of Jesus Christ. As it was then 2000 years ago, it is still effective right now. Grab those books, take advantage of the special that is going on now. It's the end of the year sales. Grab yourselves these books and I tell you, your life will never remain the same again. Follow me to church. Let's go for service and I'll see you afterwards. God bless you. You precious are your kings. God owes, God owes. You are mighty, you're, you're true. Father, we thank you. You reign, O oh God. We glorify your name for who you are. Thank you, thank you, Abba, Father. Thank you for another Thursday, O oh God, in your presence. Blessed be God for today's service. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. And the people say, Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Now, I want to continue for where I stopped on Sunday. I was preaching on positive thinking and good living. So I want to uh, do the part two uh, today. Now, let me recap for those who couldn't get my message or couldn't watch it live. Uh, I said that if we must fulfill your prophetic destiny, you must avoid these this, this five things. I call them the five, the five ends that we avoid. Never think of sickness. Never think of death. Never think of failure. Never think of poverty. Never think of barrenness. Now, you could avoid, if you can avoid these five, your life will be simple. Your life will be easy. Your life will be meaningful. Now, to, uh, today, this evening, I just want to look on the part two of it. Now, let's open our book to uh, book of Proverbs, chapter 4. Proverbs 4, verse 20 to 24. Proverbs 4, verse 20 to 24. Positive thinking and good living. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 4. 4, verse 20. 20. To 24. And it says, My yeah. son, my son, attend to my word. They say, Hear my word. Incline thy ear unto my seed. It says, Listen very well. Let them not depart from thy eyes. You must follow it. Keep them in the midst of thy heart. Uh -huh. For they are life unto those they that are find life them, unto those. And health to all their flesh. Come on Keep now. thy heart with all diligence. Keep thy heart for with all out diligence. Of these are the issues of life. Of life. Put away from thee a forward mouth. Mm -hmm. And perverse lips put far from thee. Hallelujah. He said, my son, attend to my sin. Now, this is a wise, a wise parent speaking to, to the son. You don't need to speak negative words. Follow the word the Lord said. Attend to my word. And look at, look at what he said in verse, in verse, in verse uh, uh, 21. He said, let them not depart from the eyes. In other words, as you are seeing it, you are seeing it. Positive to non-negative things. Let them not depart from the eyes. Keep them in the midst of the heart. Our heart must be regenerated. Our heart must not speak negative words. Must not think of negative words. In verse 22, we say, For they are life. They are life. The word you speak are life. They are life. Unto those that find them. And, 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 and hear and heal to all their flesh. He heals our flesh. Now, look, look at what he said in verse 20, 23. He said, Keep the heart with all diligence. Don't allow negative thought to come to your heart. Don't allow people to pollute your heart with evil things. Don't allow people to pollute your heart with failure, with sickness, with pain. Now, when you hear people say, well, it's like this person is sick, person is sick. Then your heart begins to say, maybe I will feel sick also. Don't allow that to enter your heart. And some will say, well, there's poverty in the land. Everybody's being poor. But you are not everybody. Don't allow that to enter your heart. God has given us his positive word to mold our lives. The word you see is a positive. God has given to us to mold our life, to mantle our life. Positive thinking will produce good living if you decide to think positively. 
Those who want to think negative, they will see negativity. But you will not see negativity in the mighty name of Jesus. So we must learn to see, to speak positive words. We must learn to think in our mind positive. How can I achieve this? How can I get this? How can I advance? How can I do that? How can I do that? Yeah, that's what you should come to your mind. No, not that how can I fail? You don't fail. In Zion, there's no failure. We dwell in Zion. In Zion, there's no sickness. We dwell in Zion. In Zion, there's no barrenness. We dwell in Zion. You begin to think in your mind, how am I going to succeed? As a woman who just get, uh, got married, how am I going to be pregnant and I'm going to have all the number of children I want? I want that in my life. Uh, you started a business, how am I going to get that business to, to the next level? Don't think of failure. Positive thinking. Good living. Hallelujah. Never, never hear this word, hear this word. Never, never hang around with those that think evil continually. Some people, they don't think good in evil continually. Evil continually. Any word that comes out of their mouth, Bible says that proceed out of their mouth. Uh, it is uh, evil. But you, Bible says say, evil communication must not proceed out of your mouth. Evil communication means failure. Well, thoughts of failure. Thoughts of, 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 of mishappening. It must not proceed out of your mouth. Uh, you may ask, the how will I know those who have evil talk? By their fruit, we shall know them. You say, Pastor Boy, you say, don't hang around with those who have evil talk. How do I know? By their fruit, fruit we know them. Because, they are, because they, they, their fruit is a product of their works or their thinking. The product. The product. They keep thinking failure, they, 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 they meet failure. They keep thinking sickness, they meet, they, they, they meet sickness. So he must not proceed out of my evil thought. Watch them carefully and avoid them. Your thinking can either make you or mess you up. Your thinking can either make you or mess you up. People who commit adultery or, or, or rape against another is their thinking and often time it messes them up. And when they are either in prison or in detention, they begin to regret. Why did I do this? Why did I do this? It begin, they are taught to mess them up. People who go into fraud and all that, uh, the, the, the beginning they are taught, say, I, can, I can scam this one, I can scam this one. After that, they are, when, it, when it dawns on them, they, they are messed up. So don't never think of negative world. Never, never. Choose what you want to hear and believe it if, you, if, if it's right. Choose what you want to hear. Believe it. If it's right, believe it. If it's wrong, throw it away. Now, now, what do, how do, you know, in office, we have called a trash can. It's something that is not useful to you, you trash it. This, 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 this thing is not needed for anymore, you trash it. They send you bills or negative bills of your head. You, you know this is not of God. Trash it. Which report do you believe? Trash it. They send you a report of barrenness. You trash it. They send you a re re report of, 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 of people coming to possess your house. You trash it. They send a report of failure, your children are failing, you trash it. Begin to counter those war. What war? Positive war. My children are blessed. My children are success. My children are protected. No evil before them. We are, we are, we are blessed generation. Begin to speak a word that you want to hear. Positive thinking and good living. If you want to live good in your life, begin to think positively. The remaining days and weeks and months before this year comes to an end, I challenge you, never think of negative things. How am I going to make it? How am I going to do it? No, no. That should, don't, ask, don't ask the Lord that question. You don't need it. Just begin to say, Lord, push me to the right direction. Positive thinking, good living. We, you must align yourself, align yourself with the positive word of God. You must align yourself with the positive word of God. Joel chapter 3 verse 10. I'll, Joel chapter 3 verse 10. Align yourself to the positive word of God until you are in the same frequency with His word. The world will not uh, make anything to you. You must align yourself. Joel chapter 3, verse 10. Joel chapter 3, verse 10. Yes. Beat your plowshares yes. into swords. Sword, yes. And make your, it sharp. And your prune hooks into spears. Yes. Let the weak say, Let the I weak am say, strong. I am strong. Let the weak say, I am strong. You are not going to die of sickness. You are not going to die of cancer. You that's washing me in the hospital right now, that pain will not kill you. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. get up and say, let the weak say, I am strong. They told you you are not going to live. I am going to live. Going to live. Hallelujah. 
I read about the story of, of I think Arudab Shamba wrote it on his book, Eyewitness of the Miraculous. There's a young girl that was sick, the diagnosis of terminal disease that she's going to die. Um, and they brought, the mother brought her to the hospital and the doctor said, well, keep her there she, because she, she can't recover. And the doctor told the mother, said the day she's going to die finally, she will lose her mind. So the mother will come to check her, come check her. And there was a Bible by the side of the bed. She was reading the Bible. And he said, and he got to a, 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 a portion that said, he himself took our infirmity. I said, what? Took me past then. So before this sickness came, he took it out. And the, the young guy began to read it, began to read it. He said, he himself, who is himself? Who was Isaiah referring to? He, and he found out he was referring to Jesus. Say he himself took our infirmity. And she, she, because she, she went through Sunday school and said, well, uh, uh, the, the, the pastor have taught her that no one that Jesus Christ come to me that sick than Jesus will lead them the way the same way. Any sick one that Jesus met, they were healed. And she said, then I can't die. He took away my pain. He took away the sickness. He took away the challenges. He took away this affliction. And they put all gadgets of things in her face and her mouth and and she get up, remove them. And the mother ran, ran, ran to, to where she, he said, uh, 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 sit and sit and say, no, I'm healed. He said, no, you are losing your mind now. You're going to die now. The mother is going to cry. He said, I'm not dying. I am healed. And she get up. And she was healed. The daughter came and said, sit down, sit down, sit down. He said, no, lie down. He said, no, I am healed. She began to run all, all over the places and all that. And she, the devil jacked back to, lie, to, 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 to hell. That devil in child of sickness. I see you getting healed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I see you getting healed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There is someone that are watching me right now. You are watching me right now. Right now. You have a challenge on your hands. You look at you. I don't know whether you where you're working. You, you, the bone. The, you got to do with the bone. The God Himself told me right now, He's arranging that bone now. It's it's on your left hand, your left hand, the bone. Got to do with bone. It's arranging right now, right now, right now right now. As a matter of fact, you're going to see an angel appear to you at midnight. And you're going to see that a fresh bone without surgical operation come back to life. Hallelujah. Let the weak say, I am strong. I am not sick. I am not, I am not a, 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 a person that's going to use to do a test or running tests all over, all over, all over. No, we are not a guinea pig. Let the weak say, I am sick. I am not sick. I am strong. Say to yourself, I am not sick. I am healed. Mm. I am not poor. I am, I am rich. I am, I am wealthy. I am, I am not a failure. I am, not a, I am failure. a success. I am a success. God, is with me. God is with me. I dwell in Zion. Dwell in and, in Zion and in Zion, there's no barrenness. There's no, barrenness. There's no, failure. There's no failure. So shall it be. So shall it be. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Positive thinking and good living. Hear this. Your feeling now should not define your tomorrow. Your feeling now, what you are feeling right now, should not, you, you, uh, you may feel a pain or you may feel a headache, but that shouldn't define you. Your feeling now should not define your tomorrow because your tomorrow is in the hand of the living God. Your tomorrow is the hand of your makers. Listen to your maker. What is he saying? It's not time for you to die because God have you in mind. The hand of God will rescue anyone that is going through oppression, that is going through hardship, going through calamity right now. The hand of God will rescue you out. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm going to pray for the sick at the end of the telecast. I'm going to receive, we're going to, you're going to, as you watch me, anything I tell you to do it because they're going to be a practical miracles. Nations of the world. No matter where you are watching me from. No matter the continent, this time does not separate God. The centurion said to Jesus, speak the word only. I know my servant shall be healed. Speak the word only. I don't want to come to that hospital bed. I don't want to come to your house. I don't want to come to your city. I don't want to take a plane and fly to your country. I will speak the word only and Jesus himself will heal you. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So never think of evil. Because evil thinking leads to destruction. Evil thinking leads to destruction. When you begin to think evil, begin to think evil, it's, it, uh, it's like someone, your hair begins to deteriorate. Evil begins to uh, 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 overcloud your mind. Positive thinking. Good living. Do you know that people that steal, they start thinking, imagine how they will steal before they go to steal, before they, they will go and steal and rob. 
people who go to queue, commit suicide, or who go and queue, assassinate people, they begin to think it first before the action takes place. They begin to say, how are they going to kill them? That's why they, they carry all manner of things that this is what they're going to use. They're going to use. It's, it came for that thought. We must not have evil thought in our mind. Kapahiata. In the name of Jesus Christ. We must learn to process our thought. We must learn to process our thought. In other words, you walk in the frequency of God. God cannot be in FM, you are in AM. No, it does not work that way. God said it. I believe it. That settled it all. He said that I'm healed. That I'm healed. He said that I'm blessed. That I'm blessed. He said that I can't fail. I can't fail. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, let me show you Luke Gospel. Show you a account of Luke Gospel chapter 6. Luke Gospel chapter 6 verse 45. Luke Luke chapter 6. Open in your Bible. Luke chapter 6 verse 45. Luke chapter 6 verse 45. Mm -hmm. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart. Of his heart. Bringeth forth that which is good. Did you see that? And an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart. Did you see that? Bringeth forth that which is evil. It was evil. For, the, for from the abundance of the, of the heart. His, his mouth speaketh. Abundance of the mouth. The mouth speaketh. So we know who you are. Through, you, through, your, through, through what is coming out of your mouth. We know. If you are misbehaved, we will know. It's from your heart. It's come, your heart become a, uh, 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 your engine that, that we hear. You know, the engine of a car, you don't see, but you hear it. You hear it. It, it, it generates the speed. So what we see, we may see you talking, but it's your heart that generates what you're saying. And when people say, I didn't mean it, they mean it. Before somebody begins to plan evil, they mean it. Say, but I didn't mean it to it just happen about saying no. And someone says, so say, it's the devil. It's not. It's what the devil plays in your heart. You keep thinking it. It's not the bastard. It's not by mistake. What happened by mistake? It's already in your mind. You're already processing it. Now, do you know why some people sin? Because they feel that nobody sees that they can sin. And do you know why some people don't, don't even want to see it openly? Because they don't have opportunity. Lock them in the place where nobody will see that they can steal that money. They can sleep with that girl. Out of the heart. So we must process everything that comes out of our heart. Matthew chapter 12. Matthew chapter 12, verse 34 to 36. Matthew. Let me show you this account again. Matthew chapter 12, verse 34 to 36. Yeah, verse 34. 34 to 36. Yes. And it says, O generation of vipers. Oh, Je this is Jesus speaking now. How can ye being evil speak good things? Uh huh. For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Out of the abundance of the heart. A good man out of the goodness, good treasure of his heart, bringeth forth good things. <laughs> and an evil man out of the evil treasure, bringeth forth evil things. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak. They shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Hallelujah. For now, by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be, be condemned. condemned. It is what in what you see, what you see will see is already in your heart. It's already in your heart. Thus I don't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I was just joking. No, it's in your heart. So people, some people <laughs> do you know some witches and wizards they confess openly. They say, uh, supposing uh, you become barren, you just your marriage. You say, but I didn't mean it to. It's already in the heart. Supposing that car, you 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 you, you, are, you are bragging with what what have you got an accident? He said, but why should he say that? Even though I didn't mean it, you know you're my friend. I didn't mean it. They mean it. They mean it. Some evil friends, unfriendly friends close to you, they say something that like I said they are joking, but it's not joke, it's not a joke. Handle it prayerfully. Handle it. They don't joke. What can they joke with success? What can they joke and say, I see you've been blessed? I'm doing it. Here people coming to meet you and tell you every time they have uh, a half thought of you is, is of evil. It's of evil. Be careful, be careful because what I'm saying, you know, those are prophet or doom. We must process our heart. Your positive thinking give birth to faith, which produce, produces the desired result. Your positive thinking. Now look at this woman in, in, uh, in the habit of law. Mark chapter 5, verse 25. Let me show you. Let's. let's 
Let's close with this. Let's close with this. Mark chapter 5, verse 25 to 29. Mark chapter 5. She was thinking it first. She, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and a certain woman. And a certain woman. Which had an issue of blood 12 years. Uh -huh. And had suffered many things of many He had suffered many things. Many people had deceived her. And spent all that she had. That's right. And was nothing better, but Did rather grew worse. Uh-huh. When she had heard of Jesus, when she had heard of Jesus, behind, uh -huh. and touched his garment, and touched his for garment, she said, "Look at what he said. Look at what he said. Look at what she said. Come on, take if his, I may, but if touch I this may, he said, I shall be made whole. For if she said, for she said, she said to herself, if I may touch, no, no, no. Why she didn't tell another person? Because if they tell, they would describe. Say, hey, this thing is too long. You know, there are people who, when you want to do something, do something you tell your friends, they, they will discourage you. He said, "Are you know, just forget about it? This sickness is too long. I can no, 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 no." So she didn't tell anybody, and she said to herself, "She was thinking." He said, "No, this is Jesus we're talking about now. If I may, but touch the hems of his garment, I will be made whole." Look at the result in verse 29. Read verse 29 and straight for me. the fountain of her blood way, was dried up. dried up. And she felt in her body that Ooh. she was healed of that plague. Hallelujah. Now, her faith came as her thought. She kept thinking. I know there's a crowd there. I know people are following Jesus. I know I can't get his attention. I know I, I, I can't be able to move to the front and block and say, Jesus, before you go, pray for me. I know that nobody recognizes me. I know that a lot of things is, is against me. But if I may, come on now. You that's what you need to say. If I may, if I may touch the hem of his garment, I know I will be healed. And she was she was made whole. Now hear this. No matter where Jesus is, your faith can draw his, his attention to yourself. Your faith can draw his attention. Blind Bartimaeus screamed, Jesus, that son of David, and he got his attention. Can't draw his attention. You know, at this time, you know, you remember Jesus Christ was, was talking with disciples, and, and this woman was coming, coming be, 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 be behind. So Jesus was not facing her. But the minute Jesus, uh, she touched the hem of Jesus, Jesus felt her, and Jesus turned back and faced her. That is what faith does. You could command the attention of Jesus through your faith. I don't know who is watching me right now that needs a change in his life and destiny. If I may touch the hem of his garment, I know I will be made hold. If I can just get hold of this word of God, I know I will be made hold. You see, he came unto his own and his own received him. But as many that received him, to them he gave him power to become the sons of God. John chapter 1. Today is your day. Shakata balakas. Zekuli memanda hasaka. Say, say, there's someone you're having a pain in your head. There's someone you're having a pain. The pain keeps going and going and coming. I, I'm seeing that person. You're having a pain. Kanda lagahaka pusha lahasasa. Healing Jesus. Healing Jesus. Flow, flow through right now. Via this airwave. Right now. Right now. You that's watching me right now. Receive healing now. Healing now. Healing now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That migraine, that head, disappear now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever sickness that the daughter diagnosed you for, oh, he has a name. In the name of Jesus, every name must bow. I ask that cancer bow. HIV bow, Amen. sugar diabetes bow, high blood pressure bow, leukemia bow, Amen. arthritis be bow. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Any sickness that is in your body right now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who myself, I declare that sickness to depart out of your body. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You can be sick. Amen. You can be sick. Amen. You cannot be sick. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Kashala, there's another person that's having a pain in your back. I can I sense you're having a pain in your back. You're having a pain in your back. Your back here. It's like when you bend, there's a pain. Akize is a mana iku rubi rina hala leusaha. Let there be a flow of God's healing upon your life. Amen. A flow right now. 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 Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 
Worry healing Jesus. Come on, Abaya. And you begin to check yourself. You are my healing Jesus. Come restore, refresh, and renew. You are my healing. Begin to check yourself. 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 Arise on healing wings, sun arise just now. What a healing, Jesus, I found in you. Oh, you are my healing, Jesus. Come restore, refresh. I'm renewed. Oh, you are my healing Jesus. For such a time as this, arise on healing wings. Son of righteousness. Healing is taking place right now. Healing is taking place. Healing is taking in place. The, the, that appendix, that appendix, I cause it to, to melt away. That appendix, I cause it to melt away right now. Healing is taking place. Check yourself. Just check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. When you get a healing, just go to our website. Uh, as a scroll on the screen right now, messingonline.com. Just go to our website and just drop in, uh, 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 your testimony there. We're going to share healing is taking place. Check yourself. Do what you cannot do before. If you cannot see, open your eye. You can see me right now. If you cannot hear, you can hear me right now. You can hear me right now. If you can't talk, begin to talk. Begin to say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You can talk right now. Come on. If you can't walk, get up and begin to jump. Begin to jump. Makanda hi kaleza hi nama. Kiru salena haze hi ne hi rando Healing all over. Blessed be God. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we thank you for your healing power. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you because you, you've changed our mind to think positively. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are waiting to take your testimony. We are waiting. We, I can't wait. I can't wait. I will personally uh, re write to you, uh, reply you when you send your testimony to us. I can't wait. Hallelujah. Now, today is Thursday. We're taking our offering. So, wherever you are, you can, you can partake on all your offering. Give your offering. You go to our website. Uh, go to a portal there. When you log into our website, go to a portal that called Partner with Us. From there, click that link. It's going to lead you to where you're going to give your offering. You can. You know, there's a lot of. Uh, you could either pay your tithe or giving or to the studio or to the prophet or just an offering. Just let us know the one you are giving. Now we will get that offering as we we'll drop that offering on the website. We we'll got a notification. I will get back to you immediately. I promise you, you are so in the photogram. God bless you. I see you on Sunday, and don't go down on on, on on this month. On we're having our, our, our program. My blood is bitter. It's gonna be it's gonna be uh, brutal. It's gonna be bloody in the camp of the enemy. It's gonna be bloody. Don't don't miss don't miss those weeks from twenty to twenty to twenty five. All right. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. All right. It's displayed on the screen right now from twenty five to twenty six. Twenty five. Twenty twenty twenty. 25th to 29th. From 25th to 29th, yeah. yeah. 25th to 29th. It's going to be bloody in the camp of enemy. 25th to 29th. That's the, the last weekend of the, of the month. We're going to engage the kingdom of darkness and they will bow in the name of Jesus Christ. Connect with us that, those, those days, those weeks, and you're going to see a testimony. Hallelujah. If you don't know Jesus, just surrender your life to Jesus. Say, Jesus, I need you. Come into my life right now. I am missing out any repentance. Thank you, Jesus, because I know my name is written in the book of life. Devil, I reject you. Right now, I belong to Jesus. Thank you for saving me in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for saving this one. I pray that your, your hands, O God, will carry them through, O God. The devil will not attack them in the name of Jesus. Blessed be God in Jesus' name. Congratulations. Congratulations. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He touched my life with his hand. Wow, what a message. That message really blessed me. And I believe God, that message has blessed you as well. I want you to do this for me. I want you to like our page, subscribe to our channel, and click on the notification bell so that every time we drop a message, you will be notified. We have a very powerful program that is coming up at the end of this month. It is called My Blood is Bitter. 
the year is running to an end the devil is looking for those that he wants to use to balance his account and i tell you you will not be one of them because your blood is bitter the devil cannot touch you this program is going to be starting from the 25th of november right through to sunday the 29th of the of november 2020 please don't miss it get yourself ready to end this year on a wonderful note and i want you to know that once you participate in that program testimonies will flood your life and your life will never remain the same again until we come your way again god bless you and have an awesome awesome time shalom